Airtable is a great app for building databases with customized views, interfaces, and automations, but sometimes nothing beats the powerful calculations and formulas available in Microsoft Excel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can transfer or sync your Airtable data to Excel to get the best of both worlds. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use no-code automation, AI, and other tactics to help companies save and create time. To learn more about our services, just go to our website, xray.tech, and to see more quick tips and tutorials each week, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can export your Airtable data so you can work with it in Excel. We'll start with a simple CSV export. Then I'll show you a couple of automation tools you can use to set up an ongoing sync between the apps. So let's get started. First, we'll start with exporting a CSV from Airtable so you can edit your data in Excel. To begin, open up the Airtable base that you want to export data from. Then, choose a view to export. You can only export one view at a time, and your exported CSV will only contain records that are visible in your chosen view. Click on the view name here underneath the table name. In the drop-down that appears, select Download CSV. Name your CSV whatever you'd like and save it to your computer. Now you can simply open the CSV in Excel. You can either use the desktop app or use the online version of Excel and upload the file to OneDrive. I'll open up Excel online. Then I'll click on Upload and choose the CSV I just exported. Excel will now convert the file and open it up as a spreadsheet. All of my data is there, but of course the Airtable field types are no longer present. A CSV export is the easiest way to do a bulk one-time transfer from Airtable to Excel. But what if you wanted to keep Airtable and Excel data synchronized? If you want any kind of live connection between Airtable and Excel, you'll need to set up an automation to do it. You can automate Airtable and Excel with several no-code tools like Zapier, Make, or even Microsoft's Power Automate. Just go to xray.tools and search for Airtable and Excel to see the full list of automation providers and the actions that they support. Building a one-way sync with any of these tools is very simple. I'll quickly show you how it works in Zapier, but the principle will be very similar in other automation providers. If you'd like, you can copy my Zap template to get started. You can find it in the resources board linked in the description. Note that this will only work with Excel files stored in OneDrive. Zapier won't be able to locate files that are only stored locally on your computer. First, there's a trigger that runs whenever a record is either updated or created in our Airtable base. Make sure to choose the right base and limit the trigger to a specific view if that's necessary. Then, we have a step to find the row in Excel that matches the Airtable record that triggered the automation in the first place. Much like with Airtable, you'll need to identify the exact file and worksheet that you want to use. You'll also need to pick a column to search by. To reliably find matching records, we've included the record ID from Airtable as a column in Excel. So instead of identifying each entry by a name or a title, which might change in the future, our automation is looking for a fixed alphanumeric code that is provided by Airtable. We'd recommend using something similar in your automation to make sure that your data is accurate and can be consistently updated over time. Within this same step, we have the option to configure the automation to create a record if no match is found. We've enabled that option and mapped each field from Airtable to its equivalent column in Excel. Next, there's an optional filter step that will check to see if the previous find step found an existing record. Check the resources board for a quick explanation of why you may or may not want to use the filter. Based on how you think you'll use the automation, employing the filter could reduce your task usage in Zapier, which in turn could help keep your monthly bill down. You know us, always trying to save you money. Finally, we have an update step, which will update the contents of the row that was found in step two. In an update action in Zapier, you can leave a field blank to leave it as is. However, since we don't necessarily know which field will be updated at any given time, we'll map every Airtable field to an Excel column. The only exception will be the ID field, since we never want to change that. That's the whole automation. Let's see it in action. I'll pull up Airtable and Excel side by side. As you can see right now, they're identical. 
I'll just change the role for this employee in Airtable, and I'll add a new employee using a form. That ensures that the zap won't run while the record is still incomplete. You may have to wait up to 15 minutes based on your Zapier subscription. Ours should update within five minutes. And there we have it. One record is updated accordingly and another is newly created. Setting up a one-way sync like this only takes a few minutes in apps like Zapier or Make and plans begin at around $20 a month for Zapier and $10 a month for Make. You could also potentially create a two-way sync by creating an additional automation that swaps the apps. However, you would also need to add additional filters or conditional paths to check the last modified time in each app in order to avoid a loop of infinite updates. Your automation provider might stop your automation from running eventually if you made a mistake like that, but you could easily consume hundreds or even thousands of tasks before it's turned off. So be careful, and I wouldn't recommend that approach. Instead, if you need a two-way sync, you should try a tool that's designed for the job, like Unido. Unido is an automation provider focused entirely on synchronizing databases between two apps. It supports software like Airtable and Excel, as well as Notion, Google Sheets, Asana, HubSpot, and dozens more. We have tutorials on our channel for getting started with Unido. While the tutorial uses Google Sheets, it's very similar to syncing with a worksheet in Microsoft Excel. Just bear in mind that again, this will only work with cloud files. Unido will also walk you through each step. In essence, all you need to do is pick the apps and databases you want to sync, authorize by signing in with your accounts, and map the fields that you want to sync. Then, once your sync is enabled, your data will update automatically in the background. This is a very simple and effective solution for creating a two-way synchronization between your apps, but the convenience comes at a price. Unido plans begin at $100 per month, and there is no free plan available. However, if you're currently trying to keep two databases synced up manually, Unido could save you several hours each month, making it well worth the cost. Ultimately, it will be up to you in your circumstances. For a quick one-time transfer of your Airtable data to Excel, you can just export a CSV of an Airtable view. To set up a one-way sync, any popular automation provider like Zapier or Make will get the job done. And if you want to create a permanent two-way sync between the apps, try out Unido to get things set up fast. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, Follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow. Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation, and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers, building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our Workflow Designer course.